Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to address another important question that we daily encounter in our professional lives, especially where we are dealing with the purchase requisitions, purchase orders. That is how to get the de details of approval of any per PR purchase requisition or for a list of purchase requisitions, how to get the data that which of the PRs are approved and which of the PRs are not approved. So this is very easy and simple using one transaction that is ME5A. Yes, it's ME5A. ME5A gives us the detail of multiple purchase requisitions based upon our selection. For example, I write ME5A and I press the button, execute button, then this window appears in front of me. So here you can see that uh, uh, in this window you have multiple tabs. You have the purchase requisitions at the top. If you exactly know the list of purchase requisitions or one purchase requisition, you can directly write it here. For example, if I write this purchase requisition here that I know exact number. After that, I will write ALV to, to just uh, check the uh, scope of the list ALV. So I know this uh, purchase requisition. I will write its number directly here and I will press execute and you will see that the details of this uh, purchase requisition will be appeared in front of you. So this is one purchase requisition it has multiple line items. So what is the main key to get the details that either this PR is approved or rejected or in approval. For that you would be looking this column the purchase requisition processing state yes you should be you would be looking at the purchase requisition processing state that what is the value written over here so remember three things 405 it means that, that this purchase requisition is approved from all the steps okay so 405 this purchase requisition is approved for all this from all the steps 403 that means that this PR is still in approval at some step. It's still in approval. And for 08, that means this PR is rejected. So you will have three numbers. You can have three numbers here, 05, 03 or 08. 08 means it's rejected. 03 means it's in approval. And 05 means that it is approved completely. We can get another example as well. For example, uh, I you know select uh, some uh, requisitioner name so that it would be easy for me to get a, a, a large list of PRs I will press execute no, then you will see that all the purchase requisitions created in system through this requisition number so here you can see that these all are the different purchase requisitions with single line item so from here you can see the first one, the, purchase, the processing state, this purchase requisition processing state is 03. That means that this purchase requisition is still in, still in approval. To counter verify, we can just open the purchase requisition and we can see inside in the release strategy. So you will see that this is not approved yet. So from 03 we are clear that this PR is still in approval. For 05, let's open any one, maybe this one, open, let's, view, let, let's open this purchase requisition. And so when we are, as you can see, it's approved from all the steps. So that means that if 05 is written over here, for all the PRs that have 05, that means these are approved. For all the PRs that have 03, that means that this, these PRs are still in approval. And for 08, that means that these PRs are rejected. So I hope this have been would have been very important session for all of you. This is the ME5A we have already discussed in the past how to use ME5A. Just for a refresher, you can just write purchase requisition numbers directly or you can write purchase group and all the PRs related to this purchase group will be appeared in here. Similarly for material number, you can write any material number and all the PRs created in system from this material number that will be appeared. So we have multiple options here from which we can get the details of the purchase requisitions and this specific video is created to uh, make you understand how to get 
the details of approval status of any purchase acquisition so i hope this would have been very uh, uh, very useful session for all of you please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for any questions you can just write in the comments tab so until next time bye bye